Hi. Welcome back again uh, to our MathCAD uh, tutorial. So this is the first part of the series. Uh, the one that, that I've shown you, uh, the first uh, video we had is just an example, an eye opener on what uh, is mad, what MathCAD is for. So yung function niya. So this time we will talk about, uh, I will show you how to use this uh, I have here the full function. I have downloaded this on my other laptop. So, this is now a fully functional trial version. So, I downloaded it yesterday. So, I presume uh, most of you all also have downloaded it and activated your free 30-day trial. So, lahat ng mga functions dito, no? yung input-output, yung mga uh, tables, no? Lahat yan are all functional. But this is for 30 days. The notice in you here, I have 28 days remaining to full uh, to use the full function of the MathCAD. Okay? Sige. So, natin patagalin. Uh, mag investigate tayo ng rectangular beam. Okay? Uh, copy ko lang muna itong nandito. Uh, Papihin ko tong figure. You can have... Uh, you can open... Uh, you can open tawag dyan, a new files and then it will just add here the tabs so but these are different files okay so investigation uh, pagandahin natin yung output natin para medyo magandang tina no so let's say here i will use i am uh, used to use this font no cambria okay in investigation of uh, investigation analysis of singly reinforced uh, reinforced rectangular beam okay lagyan ko lang ng label uh, but at the same time, alam nyo rin. So, I, what I, I did here, nag-add ako ng text box. No, dito, text box. Okay, text box. And then, you can... Uh, this is just a text box, no? It will not be treated as a formula or whatever. You can change the font if you want, no? So, I will change it to Cambria, no? Uh, Ibobold natin, Control B, just like in Word. Control I, italics, no? Control greater than, ah, hindi pala. Uh, ah, hindi kagaya sa Word. Okay, so you can increase the sizes. Okay, so let's have here the data. Type natin. Uh, uh, data. Mm, date na tuloy. Okay, so our data. Okay, so here, do not click on text box. It will treat as text box yan. If you don't treat, uh, click text box, it will be treated as mathematical operations. No? They say the width. The width is uh, 320 mm. Yeah. So, let's say the effective depth is uh, 430 mm. Don't worry, we will change this mamaya. Na? Okay, so your FC prime, F, control uh, minus C. Hindi ko lang lagyan ng prime. Uh, let's say 27.5 MPA. And then yung ating steel, na? FY. FY equals uh, 415 MPA. And then uh, the bar diameter DB, I, uh, let's say 25 mm. And then the number of bars, try lang natin, we can change this mamaya. Na? Three pieces. Ayan. Sige. So, kunin natin yung steel area muna. Uh, area ng one bar. Area of one bar equals pi over 4 times uh, bar diameter db squared okay so uh, change ko lang to mm ang unit so i now have the area and then the total steel area as is equal to the area of one bar times the number of bars okay so yun ang ating uh, AS. So, mag-tito ha, nag-investigate uh, tayo. So, ano ba yung procedure doon? 
Uh, maybe I can just move this here. By the way, gumamit lang ako ng view na draft view para malapad. You can have the document, the page view. Kaya lang maliit. I ito na yung view mo kung gusto mong i-print to as a report. Kasi here, you can choose a paper size, letter, legal, whatever size you want. But in your document view, ito at least, you are just doing calculations. So I will use this one para malapad yung makita nyo na, na window. Okay, so AS. Diba ano ba yung procedure? Diba, ang first step dito is alamin muna natin ang ang raw, uh, we will determine kung mag ba yung steel or hindi. Na? So, what you will do is, kukumpitin mo yung uh, raw, then i-compare mo with raw balance. Diba? Uh, ganun yan. So, yung raw natin, makuha na natin, no? raw equals AS over BD. So, by the way, nag-assume na lang muna ako ng D, ha? So, although, D can be, t can be derived from the overall depth, the cover, all, all those considerations. But to make the story short, naglagay lang muna ako ng D. This is just an illustration. If you want a complete program na siya lang compute ng mga coverings, so you can do it, na? Whatever you want. Na? So, ito para lang makita nyo paano siya gamitin. Okay, so I have now my row. So, dagdagan natin ng decimal point. Ah... Uh, Anang, no, not decimal point ng ano, significant figures. Ayan. So, your row. Then, your row balance. Diba, i-check mo yan kung hindi ba siya lumampas ng row balance. Saka, diba, may row mean pa. Okay, yung row balance. Pero kailangan natin ng beta. Okay, sige daw. Let us, i-program natin yung beta. Beta. B. Okay. Beta 1. Diba, beta 1 yun? Beta 1. Ano ba yung condition ng Beta. Beta 1 is equal to 0.85 if your FC prime is not exceed uh, does not exceed 28 MPa. Pero pag mag-exceed siya, i-reduce natin, di ba? Pero dapat yung beta 1 mo hindi lalampas, hindi bababa ng 0.65. So how will you do that? Oh, pwede kang gumamit ng if, ha? Okay, if na command. Okay, if if FC prime is greater than or equal to 28 MPA Ah, sorry, sorry, not greater than Sorry, sorry, sandali Unahin, unahin ko yung less than Less than or equal to 28 How did I do the less than or equal to? Ay, inuna ko yung less than Tapos press ako ng equal Automatic gagawin niya na yung less than or equal ha? So, to 28 MPA And then separate by a comma If that condition is correct or is true no? So, yun Kung true yan, it will return 0.85 Kung hindi yan totoo, so ano ang i-return niya? Diba, kukumpitin niya. Sandali, i-move natin para hindi tayo mabitin sa space. Okay, kukumpitin niya, diba? Ano ba yung competition natin, diba? Uh, 0.85 minus 0.05 over 7 MPA. Diba, ganun yan. Times FC prime. Times, sorry ha? Okay, times the quantity FC prime minus 28 MPA. You have to put the unit MPA. Okay? So, di ba? Ganon yan siya. Uh, equals. Ayun. What if hindi ko, nilagay, hindi ko ito nilagay ang MPA na unit? Uh, what will happen? Uh, may error yan. Oh! Very smart. I thought mag error siya. Very smart. Ngayon ko lang na-realize. Pwede pala. Pero kung tanggalin kaya to parang, oh, wow. I'm amazed. Pag tinanggal ko rin to ah, yun, hindi niya na. Parang, okay, very smart. Matkad is very smart. He is interpreting na uh, Matkad is now interpreting that I am using MPA. Na? Okay. Ngayon ko lang to napansin. Yes, I usually put talaga ano, talaga units na nasanay kasi ako sa lower version ng matkan. Anyway, so 0.85. Tingnan niyo, pagpalitan ko to ng uh, gagawin ko tong 30 MPA. Look what will happen to my beta. Magbabago. Yo, sorry, hindi niya na pala kilala. Kaya pala dapat mali yung hinala ko. Kaya pala hindi siya nag error kasi hindi niya hindi niya naman yun inabot. I have to put here MPA. Okay. 
So, tanggal yung bilib ko sa matkas. <laughs> sadali, sadali. 28 MPA. I have to put... Okay, error pa rin yan kasi ito. MPA. Ayun. Okay. Dapat pala talaga. Kanina hindi nag-error kasi ito ito yung in-evaluate niya. Hindi siya umabot dito. Okay, tinan nyo. O, oh, bumaba siya, no? O, oh, maging 34 MPA siya. Ayun. 0.807 na. O, oh, pero kung gawin ko lang 21... Okay, 0.85 Yun, tinuruan mo yung matkad Yung matkad talaga Parang tao to, pag tinuruan mo uh, Yun na nga, the computer is as stupid as the one who use it no? Kung magaling ka, hindi ka mga hindi ma, ano, uh, Magaling ka magturo sa kanya, madali niya makuha Ito, napakadali niya makuha no? Okay, gawin nating 40 Ayan da, Gawin nating 50 Ayun Gawin natin 60. Okay, tinan nyo. Part of the lesson to, ha? Okay, look at this. Di ba sinabi ng code dapat hindi bababa ng 0.65? O, paano to? Paano to ngayon? Bumaba na siya ng 0.65. Dapat sana 0.65 gagamitin niya. Ha? O, pwede ka rin mag-if dito. Pwede ka humabol. If yung value niya is less than 0.65, use 0.65. You can do that. Or a better way to do that is to add something here. Dagdagan natin to, na Okay. I will write na lang. I Ikakat ko lang siya. I will say here, maximum of... Okay. Tapos, sandali, baka mamiss ko yung ano. Uh, comma 0.65. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nito? So, kumbaga, gagamitin niya yung malaki nito at saka 0.65. So, obviously, kapag this will fall below 0.65, ang gagamitin niya 0.65. Look at that. 0.65 niya gilamit niya. So, kahit na gawin ko pa yung 100, it will stop to 0.65. Pero kung gawin ko siyang 40, yun. Ayan. I hope nakuha nyo. Okay. This is one uh, progress na natin. No? So, nakita nyo yun. If. Well, if you're using Microsoft Excel, the same yung syntax niya. No? If and then condition, separate by comma, condition is true, no? Uh, ito yung condition is true. If this is true, ito yung sagot niya. If that is false, isasagot niya yung next na ano, na kama. Uh, yun yung syntax ng if na function. Okay, so may beta 1 na tayo. Then makukuha ko na yung row balance. Row balance is equal to the formula is 0.85 times FC prime times beta 1. Oops, sorry. The beta 1 times 600, pero dapat may unit ito ha. 600 MPA yan. Okay, divided by, we are assuming again, we are assuming that we are using an E, a modulus of elasticity of 200,000 or 200 GPA. Divided by FY times 600 MPA plus FY. Okay. Okay. Ito na yung ating raw balance. Alright. Tagdagan natin ng uh, one, ang significant figure. Pwede mo namang yan o yan. Itawag dyan. I-default. No? Ah, mamaya na. So, let's do it like that first. Okay. Raw balance. So, yung raw natin is less than raw balance. So, masasabi natin na the still will yield. ba? Diba? The still will yield. How about raw min? Okay. Raw minimum. Okay. Raw minimum Okay, 1.4 MPA divided by FY. Ah, uh, may unit 'yon ha. MPA over FY. 0.0, okay, malayo, na? Malayo. Pwede mo rin tong if kasi da actually dalawa yung formula ng uh, dalawa yung babasihan mo sa Romin. Hello. Uh, okay, uh, gamitin natin yung nasa code, no? yung ASMIN sa 2015 na code. AS minimum, silabi ng code is the, the larger value, the larger value of uh, maximum. No? Okay. Okay, maximum of 1.4 MPA 
over Fy. So, yeah, that is the row pa yan siya. I-multiply natin ng... Okay, mamaya na lang yung BWD. And, uh, yung isa naman is 0.25 times square root of Fc prime. Okay? Over Fy. Ito yung dalawa. So, gagamitin niya yung malaki dyan. Yan ang sinabi ng code. 2015 NSCP. Parihuling naman yun to sa 2010. Okay, sandali. Lalagyan ko to ng unit. May unit ito. MPA ito. Ay, sandali, sandali. Uh, na, uh, ano ako? MPA. Ito lang. MPA ang unit niya. Ayan. And then, uh, pipiliin niya yung malaki dyan. Uh, if I press equals. Pero... Ah, uh, okay. I can just call this Romin na lang muna para hindi kayo mawala masyado. Romin. Ro min. Ayan. So gagamitin niya yung malaki diyan sa dalawang 'yan. Na? Actually ang nag ang, ang gumo-govern dito ito 1.4 over FY. Mag-govern lang to ko yung FC Primo is sa uh, 31 something, no? 31.36 yata yun. Okay? So that I can now solve my... Uh, well, we can refer it to that. Okay? So, sige, balikan natin, no? Our provided row is 0.01072. Okay? The row maximum is 0.028. And the row minimum, so in other words, the row na ating prenovide is uh, less than the balance. So meaning the still here will yield. The steel will yield. Well, just to check kung asa ba kaya wala wala mang romax sa ano? Walang romax doon sa sa 2015. So nasanay kasi yung iba na iche check yung romax, na walang romax sa 2015. Yung romax na sa ano lang yon? Hanggang 2001, even in 2010, wala na yun. 2010 and 2015 halos pareho lang when it comes to flexure. Halos pareho lang talaga sila, na may slight difference lang siya. Okay, so so in other words, our row is already okay. Then we can now solve our ah, ano, our MN nominal strength. Okay, so but first, kuni natin yung A. Okay, ah, yung depth ng compression block. Ayan. Or pwede ka lang gumamit ng RN if you want. Pwede kang pwede kang magpasid ng ganito, no? Omega, omega equals sa Rho Fy over Fc prime. Yung rho na kinumpute natin times uh, Fy okay, over Fc prime. Okay, may omega ka na. Ang wala na wala yung unit, no? And then your Rn. Yung Rn, okay, so is equal to Fc prime times omega times uh, 1 minus 0.59 times omega. Okay. Yun. Ang unit nito is mega pascal. Ang unit niyan is mega pascal. So, meron ka ng Rn. Makuha mo na ngayon yung Mn. Mn equals Rn times B times D squared. Okay. So, joule yan. So... Let's have it kilonewton meter. Ah, unit nya kilonewton meter. So, meron na ako ng mn. Now, ano yung aking fi na gagamitin? Ano ba to? Tension control or compression control? Okay. So, para malaman natin, kung ano natin yung c, para makuha natin yung fs. So, I need my a. Okay. To solve for a, I can refer to this figure here. Compressive force in concrete equals tension in steel. So that from that equation, makukuha ko yung A. Ang lalabas dyan is ASF, ASFY kasi mag-yield yung steel dito. Nakita natin our row is less than the row balance. So meaning the steel will yield. So meaning your FS natin is equal to FY. So we have here AS times FY. Divided by equate natin to ha. Imagine niyo, i-divide ko ng 0.85 FC prime B. 
0.85 times FC prime times B. Okay, so meron na akong uh, A. Then I can now solve my C. C equals A divided by beta 1. A over beta 1. Uh, na. So, meron na akong uh, C. Then, makukuha ko na ngayon yung steel stress. Para malaman natin kung ano ba to, Ano ba tong region to, Tension console ba to? Hindi, na? So, your FS, the stress in tension steel, equals 600 MPa times D minus C oops, over C. Okay. Uh, sorry. Kulang ng parenteses. D minus C over C. Okay. MPA. What do we have here? So, that's 2,000. I can change this to decimal para maklaro. Okay. 2,084 MPA. Greater than 1,000 MPA. So, ibig sabihin, this is tension control. Na? My fee... Will be 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Alright. So finally, ang ating phi mn. Okay. Uh, phi times mn. Ito yung, we call this the design strength. Or can be called the ultimate capacity. Na? Pero the correct term is the design strength. Phi mn. 213.974 kilonewton. Meter. By the way, itong programming na to napakababa pa nito no kasi marami itong maraming ano to consequences e paano kung paano kung, kung paano kung transition zone paano kung ano paano kung hindi magyield yung steel kasi dito nagyield yung steel our calculation is based on uh, assuming the steel will yield gumamit ako ng FY e paano kung hindi is there a way to do that? Mamaya, I will present it. Ha? Ipapakita ko yan sa inyo. Maybe after this, kasi mahaba na ito masyado. Ilang minutes na ba tayo ngayon? Okay, meron tayo ditong monitoring. 22 minutes na pala tayo. No? Alright, so 213.974. Okay? So halimbawa, papalitan ko to ng width. Papalitan ko ng 300 mm. Uh, kanina pala, ang answer is 213, no? So, pinalitan ko na. I-click ko yung uh, button. Okay, 212. Yung kanyang strength. Ginawa ko siyang 300. But still, our row is... Uh, our row is uh, 0.00114. Our row balance, okay, hindi pa rin... mag pa rin siya. And it is still tension control. Tinan nyo. What if gawin ko tong 4? Four, 4 bars. Oh, what will happen? Uh, tinan natin, no? Our FS, okay, tension control pa rin. Point line, no? Look, point line. Tension control pa rin. Okay pa yan. No? What if gawin ko tong lima? Okay. Assuming magkasya pa siya in one row. Okay, wag na lang natin pagdebatihan yun. Ha? Sir, hindi na magkasya in one row. Anyway, illustration ko lang to. Hindi pala para mo yung B. No? <laughs> okay. Nako, theoretically, this is no longer point nine. So meaning, this is no longer correct. So, paano yan? No? Gagawa ka na namang ibang kondisyon. You can do that. Pero, sayang ang sayang ang, ang power na mascot if you do that. Merong ibang paraan ito. No? Na kahit ano yung kondisyon dyan, kahit na tension control, uh, max, o oh, wala namang max yun. No? Automatic. Magige, makukuha niya talaga. Hindi ka na mag-iisip. No? Kung ano siya. Makukuha niyo yung moment. No? I-prepresent ko yan after this. No? Ikakat ko muna to, Okay? So, tinan nyo na lang muna. Okay? Maybe I can reduce the size para ma pwede mo mang ma-reduce yung ano, view. Okay? So, kita nyo pa man siguro lahat. Yan? Kita nyo naman siguro lahat. Yan. So, at least, klarong-klaro, no? O, ga gagawin ko tong 6. Tinan nyo. O, tinan nyo yung stress. O, naging 658 na lang. Isang po lang, ha? Isang po lang, ha? I know, this is, uh, this is not realistic anymore. Gawin kong 10. No? Grabe na. No? But this is no longer correct. Kasi 0.9 pa rin yung fee. Dapat dito, ano na to? Compression control. That should be 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0.65. 0
Kahit na yung 4 bars Ah, okay, point na yun pa rin yan Kasi tension control siya Kung gawin ko siyang 5 Dapat hindi na yung point 9 Transition zone na to no? Between 0.65 and point 0.9 yan So mali na to Alright? Although still yields pa rin to Kasi oh, yung FS mo is more than FY pa rin Tama pa rin yung A mo Tama yung lahat Ang mali mo dito yung, yung fee So pwede mong gawan yan ng formula no? Actually, I can do this here Kasi pwede pa naman itong gamitin no? Pwede po naman itong gamitin Okay, yung value ng fee Pwede tayo mag-if mag Alright, so para makita nyo Okay ba kayo? Hindi ba kayo naboboard? No? Okay So fee is equal to Okay, gawa natin ng if If Ayan If FS Is greater than or equal to 1000 MPA That's corresponding to a strain of 0 0.005 No? Ang value ng fee 0.9 Okay? Otherwise, kapag mag uh, less than 1,000, it can be transition. No? Transition. Pero yield pa rin siya. So, ang formula is 0.65 plus 0.25 times the quantity Fs minus Fy divided by 1,000 MPA. Ang nasa code is ano? Strain. Uh, ginamit ko lang dito is stress minus FY. Yan yung value ng fee. Look, 0.861. So since yield pa naman, yield pa rin ito, tama pa rin itong sagot na to. Tama pa rin. No? 0.861. Tinan nyo, gawin kong anim. Okay. Uh. Okay, yield pa rin. Tama pa rin yan. Transition zone na siya. No? Uh, 315. 315. Okay? Pero lagpas na ito ng minimum kasi yung sinabi sa code kasi, na, the strain intention still must not be less than 0 0.004. Nasa code yan. Na, nasa code yan. So that's corresponding to 800 MPA. Yun yung equivalent ng Romax sa 2010 and 2015. So ito, lumag, uh, bumab, lumiit na siya sa 800. So violation na to siya. But anyway, Yield pa rin yung steel dito. Kasi yung FY naman natin is a uh, uh, 415 MPA. No? Kaya tama pa rin yung A mo dito. Kaya lang ito in violation na sa code. Kasi yung limit ng ating FS is uh, ano, 800 MPA corresponding to a strain of 0 0.004. Alright? So, okay. So, now, I will cut this uh, video first. I will uh, if follow namin ulit uh, agad na no? yung second part of this. I will we will do a program na siya na yung magde-detect kung wala ka nang iisipin ko mag yield man or mag hindi yung steel tama pa rin yung sagot na no? kasi ito mahaba to masyado maraming condition if you will uh, keep on doing this. Kaya yun yung diferensya ng manual calculation. Kung naalala niyo sa manual calculation, meron tayong assume all steel yields. Di ba? Assume compression steel yields, tension steel will not, or the other way around. Napaka ano masyado, mahaba masyado. But using MATCAD, you can eliminate those assumptions. No? Let the calculator decide what the answer is. No? Okay? I will show that to you after this uh, uh, part. I will have, I will call it part 2. Okay? So I hope you learned something. You learned a lot from this lesson. Sorry na, minsan, minjo. Nangangapa pa ako dito But anyway, importante dito yung ating mga functions Paano, at least you have learned if and so on Okay? So, so I hope you downloaded this already If you downloaded this, activate that But it will be for trial no? Piliin nyo lang yung pag pre mo yung activate dito Meron siyang choice yata Sandali ha pre ko yung activate Okay, activate Ayan na, hindi na Iba yung choice niya dito kapag uh, una mong prenesh yung activate. Okay? So, okay? So, that's it. We will continue this on the second part. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe sa ating uh, YouTube channel. Okay? So, thank you so much.